high school, man. One of the most strangest places like in history. You know, school sucks, but like it doesn't have to though. Some people had the best years of their life in high school and others, not so much. That's why in this video, I'm giving you guys seven tips to make sure your high school experience is as best as it could possibly be. We on the road to 1K, so hit that sub button if you find my tips helpful and let's get into the vid. My tip number one, man, watch who you hang with. I'm telling y'all, man, hanging with the wrong folks in high school is like one of the worst things you could possibly do. At one moment, you may be thinking that you talking to your well-trusted friends Next moment, half the school thinking you do some questionable things in your free time. I'm telling y'all, you definitely want to surround yourself with some good people, man. Keep a good circle. Watch who you tell your business to because that could that could really be a downfall. I ain't gonna lie. Be sure you got you a good circle for sure. Tip number two, do not let these high school relationships stress you out, bro. Only like 7% of high school relationships actually make it to the marriage stage. And then half of them... They filed for divorce. Look, bro, these relationships gonna come and go, you know what I'm saying? Do not let a high school relationship add on to the stress that high school already brings, bro. Cause it's a lot, I ain't gonna lie. Especially if you like a freshman or a sophomore, mainly freshman, because you like fresh out of middle school. It's a big transition. You finna be seeing all types of different girls or the girls you stressing over finna be seeing all types of different dudes. Let's just use that time to just have fun. You should not be tied down trying to have some long lasting relationship your ninth grade year. I'm telling you it's not gonna happen. I ain't trying to hate on you, bro. It's, it's just not gonna happen. Stay out of drama. Not wanna be known as that person that's always in the mix, bro. Nobody likes that person. Nobody wants to be around that person because nobody wants that energy reflected onto them because you are who you hang around. If you hang around people that's always in the mix, Technically, you in a mix by default, you know what I'm saying? That's just how it works. I get it, you know what I'm saying? People gonna talk junk to you or people talking junk to maybe somebody you talk to. If they ain't threatening to fight you, you know what I'm saying? Then I say just let it go. And if y'all do fight, somebody gonna lose, you know what I'm saying? Somebody is going to lose. And the last thing you want is a video on social media with all your peers laughing at you because you just got beat up in the cafeteria. That's not a good look. Even if everybody forgets about it, you're not gonna forget about it and you're gonna walk around the hall knowing that you got beat up. So if you can't fight and if you're not going to fight, don't talk junk. Don't hang around people who always involve the drama because you're not gonna fight and if you do fight for them, you're gonna get beat up. So just let it go and just stay in your lane. All right, I'm really gonna put y'all up on game with this one. Whatever math class you take in, if you are struggling in a math class, I don't care what it is or what unit you're on, you need to be using a website called Symbolab. Symbolab is a website with literally every math calculator you could think of where whatever unit you want there's a calculator for it i don't care what it is it could be quadratics they got a quadratics calculator on there it could be about graphing they got graphing calculators on there too now if this go for any other subject if you are struggling in a class make a class group chat oh my god class group chats will literally save your grade walk around your classroom talk to the people in there get their phone numbers and tell them we finna start a class group chat whatever work that you don't got somebody in that class got it and they're gonna send it in the group chat and then y'all pass y'all t together you succeed together that's how this work be sure you're doing some extracurricular activities bro life gets mad boring if you're doing the same thing every day just waking up going to school and then going home i'm telling you you will hit rock bottom doing that junk every day make sure you got something that you're working for whether that's you working to get all A's or you working to PR on your track team, you working to join your school basketball or football team, I don't care what it is, make sure you got something that you're working for because going to school every day, doing the same thing and living that boring life, it'll really make you hit rock bottom. I've been there before where you just existing every day, I'm telling you. It is not it, you feel me? Make sure you got something that you're working for. That could be in school or out of school. If you don't play sports or anything like that, you can join a club and if you're not interested in any clubs, track you don't really need any skills you just go out there and run be sure you come to school with some essentials and that means water a pack of gum and vaseline you need to bring that every day water just because you know what i'm saying you're gonna you're gonna drink water throughout the day the pack of gum because you snack and you eat throughout that day and the gum keeps your breath fresh especially if you eating them sour cream and onion cheddar cheese ruffles i can't stand those then the worst chips to ever be made they smell like shit. vaseline because you don't want to be talking to somebody and your lips should be all dry and drunk and plus your lips gonna get dry throughout the day be sure you got you some vaseline to stop that from happening. most people i know keep a fat tub of vaseline in their book bag just for occasions like that you don't need that you just need the small little one that can fit in your pocket and you know you probably have to buy a couple of them but don't od on the vaseline though you don't want to be looking greasy last but not least probably the most important tip on this list if you ever feeling depressed or you ever feeling like you're at a very low point in your life and you are getting to that stage 
I need you to find somebody to talk to, man, whether that's a friend, a family member, a teacher, a school counselor. I never say to school counselor, your school counselor is your last resort, but if you got anybody you trust that you can talk to, talk to them, I'm telling you, man. And if you don't have anybody you can talk to, then go ahead and dial this number right here, you feel me? All right, y'all, man, I appreciate y'all who made it to this point of the vid, man. If you found any of these tips helpful, man, then hit that subscribe button, man. We on the road to 1K, and if you want a part two to this video because you enjoyed this one, then let me know in the comments and I'll drop a part two, man. I got tips for days. But, man, we on the road to 1K, so hit that sub button, and I'm gonna see y'all boys and girls in the next vid, man. Peace out.